Welcome back to Newsbeat. We're here with sports anchor Sloan Ivy. Sloan, I'm ready for some football. What you got for us? Well, Ray, the Who Dat Nation is back in full effect tonight. The NFL season starts tonight for the New Orleans Saints as they take on reigning champs, the Green Bay Packers. One of the best rivalries in the NFL will head off tonight in the opening week. Last year, the Saints quarterback, Drew Brees, ended the season with 404 passing yards and a 95.4 overall rating. Even though they lost running back Reggie Bush to the Miami Dolphins, they gained many great offensive players. With the Saints beefing up their defense, with the additions of Abreu Franklin and Sean Rogers and Mark Ingram on offense, this should be an enter entertaining contest to say the least. Quarterback Drew Brees speaks on the upcoming game and how the Saints feel taking on the defending national champions. We see ourselves as a, as, as a great team, as a contender. They see themselves as a great team, as a contender. Um, the fact of the matter is it's one game, and it just happens to be the first game of the season on a Thursday night, nationally televised, you know, all that stuff. Um, but you just try to cut through that. Tune in tonight on NBC at 7.30 Central to see who that nation battle against the Green Bay Packers. ESPN reports that LSU wide receiver Russell Shepard would be eligible to play on September 24th against West Virginia. On the subject of the Fighting Tigers, LSU sent the Oregon Ducks flying back home with their tails between their legs. After the show out and showdown last weekend in Cowboy Stadium, the Tigers are hot and are looking to keep the fire burning in their own backyard. With standout performances from many players and a defense that is a force to be reckoned with, especially with defensive back Tyron Matthew, who had an outstanding night with 10 tackles, one forced fumble, and two pass breakups. It's no wonder why Matthew was named Thrope Defensive Back of the Week. This Saturday night in Death Valley, the Tigers hit the gridiron to battle the Northwestern State Demons. The LSU Tigers are currently ranked number two in the BCS polls. For the LSU soccer, the Lady Tigers had a great night in Houston on Tuesday with a win over the U of H Cougars. The Tigers defeated Houston 2-1 to one with a great plays by two senior players, midfielder Tyranny Boudreaux and defender Kelly Murphy. These two standout plays gave LSU our first goal and our game winner for the night. Also, senior goalkeeper Mo Isom with a class save one-on-one -on -one to keep LSU on top. The Lady Tigers are ready to be welcomed back in their new stadium Friday night as they battle against the Oregon Ducks. Moving on to volleyball, LSU overpowered New Mexico State for the victory in the Hotel Encanto Classic Tournament this weekend. With many players being a vital asset to the outcome of this weekend, the LSU defense held up their end in a big way. Tigers duo Desiree Elliott and Sam Dallahousey dominated plays with three kills each in a set of blocks that were the defining moment in the tournament for the Tigers. The ladies wrap up the non-conference games with a trip to Western Kentucky where they will compete against Wake Forest, Xavier, and the Hilltoppers. Well, that's all I have for you tonight. I'm Sloan Ivy, and that was your sports. Have a great weekend, and go Tigers.